The legendary climbing town of Arco this weekend played host to the latest round of the IFSC Lead and Speed World Cup. In the men's speed small final, Bassam Awem took third place ahead of Leonardo Jontero in a close race. However, all eyes were on Marcin Zienski, who was trying to claim his third World Cup win in a row, but would need to beat current world record holder Daniel Boldarev in the big final to claim the gold medal. He duly did so to make it a hat-trick of victories. Uh, you, you can even imagine how happy I am. I am. Uh, it's a tier gold, so yeah, my my dreams come true. I'm on the top. Over in the women's event, it was an all Polish small final with Claudia Bukczyk defeating Alexandra Rudzinska. The big final was also about a climber trying to claim an unprecedented third Speed World Cup win in a row. Anouk Jobert won in Chamonix and Vila and duly competed her own hat trick by beating Julia Kaplina here today. Yes, that's completely incredible. I now can't believe it. I'm so, so happy because uh, the competition was very hard for me today. I had bad, bad feeling uh, this morning. So it was really uh, with mantle that uh, I won. So an extraordinary evening of speed climbing saw so Marcin and Anouk head into the lead into the World Championships in Paris next month with three back-to-back -back wins and bags of confidence. The lead competition on the famous Arco wall saw Yanni Garmbret once again hit problems having dominated the season up until IMSS last week. She finished third but by her own high standards that wasn't really the result she was hoping for. Jane Kim, meanwhile, did what she does best and climbed in complete control, only to run out of time on the steepest part of the route. She held the lead for most of the final, but was eventually pipped to the win by Anna Krahoven, who finally claimed her maiden World Cup victory after six previous podium finishes. As we've come to expect from Anak, her climbing was controlled and calculated and saw her top the route in the final, just as she had done in the semis earlier today. I don't think there was a secret, but I was more relaxed than during the, the other competitions. In the men's event, Dmitry Fakirinov made a storming comeback onto the World Cup circuit by claiming the bronze medal in his first event of 2016. The ever-reliable Jakob Schubert, meanwhile, was keen to break his two-year drought without a World Cup win and came incredibly close to doing so with this heroic attempt at topping the men's route. However, he couldn't quite match Frenchman Romain de Grange, who matched Jakob's score of 44 plus, but won the competition as a result of count back to the semi-final, in which Romain had been the only climber to top the route. The second part was really fun because um, I make a, perhaps a little mistake uh, in the middle with the big balls but uh, I found a, a pretty good hook and after I can uh, fight myself to, uh, to the top so uh, pretty good. There is now a short pause of just over two weeks before the big one, the World Championships in Paris between the 14th and 18th of September. We will see you there.